Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to import multiple excel file with different sheet name using SSIS. So the agenda of the today's video tutorial is same, so let's jump to the demo. So in my D files location I got three excel files employee.xlsx, employee underscore timestamp and employee underscore details. So if I show you the data in the excel file then it contains person's id, first name, last name, email and gender and the id for the employee.xlsx file starts from 1 and it goes up to 1000 because there are 1000 records in the file and if you see the sheet name so the sheet name is data in this particular case and now if i open another file for example employee underscore details then it should contain another data and the sheet name should be different so if you see the id starts from 3001 and it goes up to 4000 okay and the excel sheet name is data underscore information okay and now let me open the third file okay so for the second file the id starts from 1001 and it goes up to 2000 okay so this is how and the sheet name is data underscore timestamp for this one the sheet name is data underscore information and the name of the first sheet is data so the sheet name is different and the file name is also different so that's fine but the sheet name is different that's the main thing okay so now let's try to import all these files using ssis and we will be using the for each loop container so let me open the ssis package so this is my blank ssis package and uh, we will be using the for each loop container to loop through multiple files and because we want to loop through multiple files and we want to get the file name so we can declare a file path ssis variable here so i can just declare a variable as file path and the data type can be a string and i need to provide a default value to it okay so i maybe i can provide this value employee.xlsx and i can paste the value here so this is fine now let me just drag and drop the for each loop container into the control flow window and i can configure the for each loop container here in the collection i can select the enumerator type as file enumerator and uh, I can browse the file so the file path is D files location there is a folder path actually and I will be loading the xlsx type files okay so this will only load these type of files under variable mapping I can select the file path SSIS variable so I can click on ok and now because we want to import the data so we will be using the data flow task so we can just drag and drop the data flow task into the for each loop container and then we can configure the data flow task because we want to read the data from the excel file so we will be using the excel source here so i can just drag and drop the excel source into the data flow task and then i can configure the excel source so i can right click click edit i need to create a new excel connection manager here and then i can browse the excel file so i can select any file from here click ok and now if you click here name of the excel sheet so you can see the excel sheet name is data and dollar so you can click on columns so these are the columns those will be read from the excel file you can click on ok and now because you want to write the data into the sql server so you can use the oledb destination here so i can connect the excel source with the oledb destination and we can configure the oledb destination i can click new to create a new oledb connection manager our table exists in the test database onto the sql server 2017 instance so i can make a connection to the test database onto the sql server 2017 instance so i can click on ok because the connection was already there from data access mode i can select table or view fast load and then i can select the table name here so my table name is employee so i can select the table name from here i can click on mappings to make sure that all the input columns have been mapped with the destination column so this is fine and now i can click on ok so our for each loop container is almost ready the only thing that is remaining to be done is that the excel connection manager is hard coded as of now and if you see the properties excel file path property so it is pointing to the employee.xlsx file okay but we need to import the data from three different files so we need to make this connection manager as dynamic so we can click on expressions and from the expression from the property we can select the excel file path property and we need to assign this property from the file path ssis variable so that when the for each loop container will run the value of the file path will change and it will change the excel connection manager so i can click on ok ok so our connection manager is dynamic and it should work fine except one cache that i will show you so let me execute the ssis package and it should start importing the data but it might fail so it imported the data from one file 
and then it got failed okay if I check the data now so I think it should contain 1000 records yeah so it contains 1000 records and after importing one of the file it got filled on the another file so if I click on view and if I go to the output it has imported one of the file and written 1000 records if you look at the error so it is filled here that opening a row set for data dollar check that the object exists in the database so it actually got filled at the excel source while reading the data for the data dollar excel sheet because if you see for the first file employee.xlsx so for this particular file the sheet name is data so the, this sheet was loaded successfully but now if you look for another excel sheet so the sheet name is different like this is data underscore information so wh what the package is doing it is trying to fetch the data from the data excel sheet but the data excel sheet doesn't exist for this particular excel file okay and even if you check the another excel file employee underscore timestamp so the excel sheet name is different data underscore 2022 10 23 okay so what should we do that before trying to fetch the data from this particular sheet hard coded sheet like data we should try to fetch the value of the sheet name dynamically from the excel file and then try to import the data only from that particular sheet so the sheet name should be dynamic ok so let's see how we can do this so to get the sheet name dynamically we can use the c sharp code and the c sharp code can be used inside the script task so what i can do i can just drag and drop the script task into the for each loop container just before the data flow task and I can co uh, connect the script task with the for each loop container and I can call the script task as get sheet name okay and maybe I need to declare an SSIS variable sheet name here so that the sheet name can be declared and it should get the value dynamically so I can call the variable as sheet name and the data type will be a string here and the default value I can provide is data dollar okay we need to append dollar just after the sheet name okay that's how it works now i can right click and configure the script task so from the read only variable i will select the file path ssis variable here so that i can read the file name through it and then we need to override the value into the sheet name ssis variable now i can click on edit script so that it can open the script editor for me all right so the script editor has been opened and i already written some code which can actually get the sheet name and I will share all this code with you so that you can use it in your environment and uh, I found it very useful actually so what we are doing here that uh, we are getting the file path into a local variable file path and then we have declared a sheet name local variable here now using this particular class microsoft.office.interop.excel.application we are just creating an instance of the excel app and then we are creating an instance of the excel workbook okay and then we have declared an array excel sheet of type string and we are getting the count of the excel sheet into this particular array and then we are running a for each loop here and just getting the name of each excel sheet and assigning it to a variable excel sheet so an excel workbook can contain multiple sheets but here we are only interested in the first sheet so if the value of the i will be zero it means when the loop will run very first time so we will get the first sheet name and we will assign it to a local variable sheet name and once we have assigned the value to a local excel sheet name then we will close the excel app and then we will close the excel workbook as well and then we will release the release object excel app ok so that's what we are doing here because you can see a red line under the microsoft.office so we need to add a reference to it ok so if you check the references so you can right click on it and click on add reference and here you can type excel so you can see this option microsoft excel 16.0 object library so you can click on this checkbox and click on add so this will add a reference to the excel library microsoft.office.interop.excel ok so now all the errors are gone and now because we will get the excel sheet name into this particular local variable so now we need to assign it back to the excel sheet ssis variable so we can write dts variables so we can write sheet name dot value equal to excel sheet ok so this is how it will work and I can share this code with you so now I can click on file exit and I can click on ok ok so I missed one thing so I can go back click on edit script 
because you will get the sheet name but we need to append the dollar after the sheet name because if you see the first sheet so the sheet name is data but we need to append the dollar to get the value from the excel sheet using ssis okay so just before assigning the value to the sheet name we need to append a dollar here plus and then i can type dollar here so now it should work fine file exit okay all right now i can go to the data flow task and if i right click and check the excel source here so if you see here under data access mode it is table or view and the sheet name is hard coded data dollar here so we need to make it dynamic so we can select table name or view name variable and from the variable name we can select the sheet name so now this sheet name this value will change dynamically for each sheet okay so i can go to the column so this is fine now i can click on okay now what i can do i can just truncate the data from the employee table which contains 1000 records as of now so now after the successful execution of the ssis package 3000 records should be loaded to the employee sql table so i can go back here and i can start running the package again and this time the package should run fine it imported 1000 records and now it is trying to import another 1000 records okay and then again it will try to import another 1000 records yeah so 3000 records have been imported successfully and you can check the data in the employee table that the id starts from 1 and then it should goes up to 1000 for the first file yeah so till here this is the data from the one file and then from 1000 to 2000 the data should be for another file and now the data starts from 3001 so after the 2000 the data starts from 3001 so this is how the data is in the excel file yeah so this is how you can change the excel sheet name dynamically using the ssis and then you can just import the data so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much